Welcome to The Manor. My name is Jamal. Please come in and have a seat. Today I'm doing a quick little video about Alicia Dockery of Dockery Dozen. Now, this is pertaining to a TikTok I saw about them uh, coming back from uh, New York City where it looks like they took a trip, a family trip, like all the kids went, the dad went. And I was just like, wow, this is a lot. <laughs> Even just watching um, video, like this was a lot. I mean, you're traveling with 12 children. It's very difficult. It looked like it was raining. It was like some of the kids weren't having fun because they couldn't run around and touch things. So I was like, okay, I wonder if this was like a promotion deal. All right, let's fast forward to them coming home. Now they came home, they did like a roll call and it seemed like they asked the kids like, you know, what'd you like about the trip or what'd you like best about the trip? So as you go down the line, it looks like it starts from oldest to youngest. So, you know, as you go down the line, it looks like the younger kids did not like enjoy this at all. Now, what I'm specifically talking about, I believe it's twin boys and then a younger boy behind them. And they were just not happy. They were just like, why are we here? Why, do you, why are we doing this? And this is part of the problem, in my opinion, of family vloggers. These children have no choice. They're just propped up in front of the camera with no say-so. And I felt really bad for them. Now, I don't watch Alicia's TikToks too often. Actually, this is my first one. I was directed here by another creator's video. I said, okay, let me, let me watch it for myself. And then when I put this together with, like, how the kids really weren't having fun, I'm like, oh, okay, I see what people are saying about, you know, children being forced to be in these videos. For me, I don't believe children should be in videos until they're about 16, because that's when they kind of can say whether they want to do it or not. I feel under that age, the parents have too much control and make the children do this in some cases. And for me, this came across as one of those situations. Like, you know, it was just it was painful to watch, but you just see it in their eyes. They just didn't want to be there. Now, the older kids, I think they're, they have a more understanding that, okay, this is what we do. This is our family business to a degree. And they know if they do these videos, there's some sort of payoff at the end, i.e. we're getting some new iPhones, maybe a scooter, maybe some new bicycles, et cetera, et cetera. So the older kids kind of have learned this is the game. But younger kids, on the other hand, they're not there yet. They're like, this is no fun. Why do we keep having to do this? And it's hard to see children look miserable on camera. It really, really is. But in my opinion, from what I saw, Alicia didn't care. She just needed her, her shot. She needed to get this, you know, video shot and uploaded so they can keep making the money. And I understand that she has, you know, made it so she and her family can make money off of YouTube and off of TikTok and off of sponsorships. It's okay, but read the room, read their children, and if they don't look happy, maybe either you have a conversation with them or you just don't put them in the videos because there's nothing worse than seeing an unhappy child, and that's just my personal opinion. I'm not saying anything about her parenting. I'm just saying in this particular instance, Alicia, the businesswoman, I'm going to say that because she's running a business, the doctor he doesn't is a business at this point. As a businesswoman, I understand why you're doing, but you're also a mom. And in these type of situations, I really, really feel the mother instinct should override the businesswoman because if you have unhappy children, that just makes your life that much more difficult. And it makes it makes the child, it can make your child like, you know, not want to be around or take part in anything. That's not what you want. You know, so I really hope like one day she kind of takes a step back, actually watches the videos, listen to the feedback of other creators and really take a hard look at who's OK with being in the videos and who's not. Because she may find like, you know, maybe I don't really need to have all my children in the videos. Maybe I can leave the younger ones out if they're not feeling it. So that way. You're not trying to deal with, you know, kids that don't want to be there, who don't want to be on camera, and they get fussy, and then it makes your job as a mom that much harder, you know, and maybe you start doing more one-on-one -on -one videos with your kids. Maybe you take the older kids out for a day to do something and leave the younger ones at home. I mean, you don't have to film them all day, every day, because that, that can wear on a child. I mean, especially little ones. I mean, you know, they don't like to, like, sit still for too long anyway, so... 
don't force them to do something they don't want to do. And I've noticed that she's all, all about getting the shot. Because I saw um, in a video where they got lunch in New York City. I want to say it's like Shake Shack or something. And I'm like, okay, no problem there. But then you could tell the food was set up perfectly. I'm like, how long did it take you to set that up? And I wonder if the food was cold. <laughs> that was just that was just me. And I'm like, I, would be, I hope the kids aren't too hungry because kids, you're not eating for a while because mom has to set this up, shoot it, and then video it, and then upload it. I'm like, that is not good. So at the end of the day, I really, really want Alicia to really look at her content and really look at her children. Are they happy? Are they having fun? Are they enjoying this? And if you see your child is not, you know, enjoying this, stop filming them. Just stop filming them and let it go. You've got like a whole lot of children that you can film and do stuff with. So Weed out the ones who don't want to be there and focus on the ones who want to um, be in the videos. And for the ones who don't, sit back with them and have more one-on-one -on -one time with them so they understand they're still loved even though they're not in the videos. That being said, have a wonderful day. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. That being said, have a wonderful day. Magician out.